Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a fill-in. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is just going in with my extra coarse safety drill bit to remove all of the gel polish and of course to file down the acrylic just a little bit for the fill-in. So during this step I am using my Melody Susie rechargeable wireless nail drill and I am using it at about 15 thousand rpms um, but of course just adjust it to whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at so again we're just going in removing that gel polish that top coat filing around the cuticle area making sure that we don't have any lifting and if you do you usually will be able to tell because of course you know like the acrylic will be separated from the natural nail but then also you'll be able to tell because it will look a little bit whitish so when that happens if it's not a lot of lifting I would just recommend to file it off with your e file you never want to go in there with a pair of nippers because you're going to make the acrylic lift even more so just go in there with the tip of your drill bit just file it off and you should be good but again if it's like lifted to where it's lifted all the way down towards the tip I recommend just going ahead and removing that nail and replacing it with a new one because you don't don't want your client to get a greenie which is when moisture gets trapped underneath the natural nail or in between the acrylic and the natural nail and then it'll cause a greenie but anyways after we finish doing that we're just going in with a cuticle pusher of course this is going to just expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting and I'm using a metal cuticle pusher but you can use one as long as it can be disinfected or disposed of or use plastic wood or what's the other one plastic wood or metal <laughs> but again as long as it can be disinfected after that I'm going in with a 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail now when you're doing this step you want to make sure that you get as close as you can to that cuticle area and just simply remove that shine um, our body produces a lot of oils those oils happen to be on our natural nails which are which is why our nails are naturally shiny so if we don't go in there to remove that shine most likely we will get lifting um, because it's literally like water and oil and they just don't mix together same thing with the oils on our nails and the acrylic they're not gonna go together and they're just gonna you know want to separate and that's gonna cause the lifting so during this step i am using my e-file at around 6,000 rpms um so it's going pretty slow right here i went ahead and sped the video up but it, you know while i'm using it it is actually going pretty slow and that's just because i don't want to over follow my client's nail so i keep it at a pretty low speed but of course whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at is completely fine so after that we just dust the nails off and then i'm going in with the primer and this primer is just going to help the acrylic adhere a lot better to the natural nail so I'm just applying that on the natural nail and then for the acrylic I'm using my JCBD concepts acrylic system in the color cover pink so it's a really pretty pink that looks super super clean I just absolutely love this color and of course the first thing that I did was pick up my bead place it closer to the cuticle area pat it down and very gently brushing it down towards the tip now I'm just going in with the tip of my brush and just cleaning around the cuticle area and remember that if you get any product on the skin you want to go in there and wipe it off immediately because if not it's going to get hard and it's going to be really hard to file off and most likely you will get lifting so you definitely want to work smarter and not harder also during this step you know since the nails are um like a medium length i don't want to go in with too much product because i don't want to make i don't want to make the nails super thick so i just work with small beads and then just add as needed but as always make sure that as you're working you're steady looking at your nail from different angles that way you know exactly where you need to add more acrylic as you guys seen just there like i did lift my client's finger up i noticed that i needed to apply more to create that nice apex so i placed my bead right there same thing patting it down and then very very gently brushing it down like whenever you're brushing it's literally almost like a feathering motion y'all like it's super gentle because if you brush too hard for one i feel like it dries the acrylic a lot faster and then you end up with like a big bump or two if you brush too hard you can brush the product off the nail and so basically you would be wasting product and wasting time as well because you're gonna have to keep adding and keep adding acrylic until you build that apex and thickness but as far as everything else the steps are gonna continue to be the same so we're just going in with a medium sized bead placing it closer to the cuticle area cleaning around the cuticle area of course brushing the acrylic down 
Um, so it's going to be pretty much the same thing. It's just a matter of practicing and doing it over and over again. Um, and then also another thing that really has a big impact when you're doing acrylic nails is most definitely your brush. You want to make sure that you're using a good brush. I am using the number 10 oval brush by Alpha Brush, which I absolutely love. And then also another major thing is definitely your acrylic. Um, trust me, if you're not using good acrylic, like the acrylic is going to dry really fast or it's going to be too runny. Or, you know, by the time you pat it down, well, this is drying fast. But by the time you, like, place it down, like, it's already dry to the point where you're just left with a big ball. So you definitely want to make sure that you invest in some good acrylic. I, like I said, use JC Beauty Concepts. I definitely recommend it for beginners. Um, I know when I did my classes in Atlanta, I, I let all of my students use it and they definitely really liked it compared to what they were using so y'all like even if you don't get jcp to concepts i would just suggest you know trying out different acrylic brands if you can even if you just get the small little like the smallest containers they may have just to try it out because like a lot of the time i feel like people give up because they feel like they're not good enough that they're not doing something right but a lot of the time it's just the acrylic that you're using is not you know i mean it like i said you know some dry fast some dry a little bit slower so you just kind of have to find exactly what works for you and it's just going to be a matter of you trying different things um but yeah so as you guys can see i'm just going in and applying the acrylic i'm just looking at the nail from different angles to know exactly where i need to apply more acrylic once i have that nice apex and thickness at the tip i can move on to the next nail and then the first two nails that i did was my actual speed and then right here i went ahead and sped it up so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys continue watching and then we'll move on to the next step
Alrighty, so I'm finishing up the acrylic application again, y'all. The acrylic that I use is the JCBD Concepts Cover Pink Acrylic, which is a really pretty light pink. And it just looks so clean and so classy. I definitely really, really like this color. Um, and then also, I forgot to mention, but the paper towels that I was using were the Viva Paper Towels, and those are so super important as well. But next, I'm just going in with my 100-100 nail file, and I'm just going to reshape the nails, of course, following the sides and the free at exactly a 90 degree angle make sure that as you're doing this you're holding your file really really straight that you're holding your client's finger really really straight as well and then just making sure that as you're um, shaping the nails that you're watching the shape change that way you know you know when you fall enough like once you see like okay the shape looks good you know it's even on both sides my free edge is nice and even like that's when you can move on to the next nail but you just have to watch it as you're you know working Next, I'm going to go in with my extra fine drill bed and I'm using my e-file at 6,000 RPMs and we're just, or sorry, 10,000 RPMs and we're just going to file all of the nails to make sure that we seal the cuticle area that way we don't get any lifting. So as you guys can see, I go from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth and then following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth but most definitely following around the cuticle area or focusing around the cuticle area because that's where your lifting will come from so same thing falling from the right side all the way over to the left side again my e-file is, go is going at 10,000 rpms and then also as you can see when i'm doing this i'm holding their side of their finger with my pinky that way i can get some stability and my e-file is not just all over the place this definitely helps me a lot um, i'm able to control my file and make it go exactly where i need it to go um, so i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up but yeah so same thing going around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side and again Again, this is the extra fine drill bed that all of these are listed on my Amazon storefront so I'll be sure to leave the link down below I do have a little section with just drill bits that I use so um, that should be helpful for you guys um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do this on all of the nails oh yeah and then what I'm what you see underneath the little fan looking thing is actually a dust collector I've been using it for a while and I wouldn't say that it doesn't collect all of the dust but it definitely keeps it out of my face like if I I don't use this dust collector like while I'm working I can see the dust collector going right into my face and into my nose and lungs and all that stuff and we definitely don't want that so I'm just using this dust collector it's by Melody Susie um, I do have a promo code for them so I'll be sure to leave that information down below
Alrighty, so after we finish following the nails, I'm just going in with a buffer and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So we never want to skip this step. So after we finish buffing the nails, you could have your client go wash their hands or I'm just using an alcohol wipe to get rid of any of that dust that's left on the nails. After that, I'm going to go in with the Mia Secret Blooming Gel. And so I'm going to do um, white on all of the nails. So I do the blooming gel first and while that's still wet, I go in with a dotting tool and I just start to draw. This is basically like the little snake skin design that's been super popular lately. So as you can see, I just go in with the dotting tool and I just almost draw like a rectangle. And then on the sides, I just go in and fill in um, with some little dots. As you can see, the gel definitely spreads really quickly. So I like to do one finger at a time. So I'm gonna do that pinky cure, do this pinky cure, and I'm just gonna alternate from hand to hand. Um, yeah from hand to hand and then so same thing for the next one just going in and applying the blooming gel you definitely want to make sure that you don't apply too much you just want to do a thin coat and then going in with the white right over that blooming gel and like i said just doing like little rectangles they definitely don't have to be perfect but you definitely do want to work fast when you're doing this because this like i said this blooming gel definitely spreads pretty fast going in with some little dots on the side so i'm going to do the same thing on all of the nails except for on the ring finger i'm going to do um like a french tip and or sorry yeah that is the ring finger on the ring finger we're doing like a french tip and then the middle finger i'm just gonna do bling on it but all of the other nails are gonna be the exact same thing
Alrighty, so now for the middle fingers, I'm going in with the Soleil Nail Adhesive, which is the glue that I use for my bling. And then this bling is for my bling kit that will be available on my website again here soon. So I'm just going in, I apply the glue, and then I'm placing my bling in the middle and picking them up with my wax pencil. And then after this, I'm going to spray the glue with the Hurry Up Spray, which is a spray that helps that glue dry a lot faster because with this one being a gel, um or a gel resin it's a little bit thicker than just regular nail glue so it takes it a little bit longer to dry but with the hurry up spray it dries that glue instantly so i definitely recommend that you get it um that is also in my amazon storefront which again i'll leave that link down below and then for my top coat i'm using my get nail 32 top coat which will be available on my website as well and i'm just applying that on all of the nails and curing for 60 seconds Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. I absolutely love these nails. I love that cover pink acrylic with the white and the bling and everything just looks so nice and clean and neat. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getnail32 and I will see you guys next time.